The Little Old Lady by Robbie Trent. The little old lady lived in a tiny, flat-topped house in the land where Jesus was born. All day, the little old lady worked slowly in her house, for she was crippled with a crooked back. At night, she slept on a pallet bed on the floor. One morning, the little old lady opened her eyes very early. It was God's Sabbath day, and she wanted to go to the synagogue to thank him. She sat up in bed and reached for her stick to help her walk. Slowly, so slowly, the little old lady stood on her feet. She could not stand tall and straight like other people. Her back was bent and her face was toward the ground. For 18 years, the little old lady's back had been crooked. Slowly, so slowly, the little old lady lifted her pallet bed from the floor. Slowly, she rolled it up and placed it in a corner of her tiny room. The little old lady washed and dried her hands to get ready for breakfast. She put bread and dates on a plate. She thanked God for food and she ate her breakfast. Then the little old lady began to get ready. She put on a clean dress and smoothed her hair. She put a scarf over her head. She reached for her stick to walk with. At last she was ready to go to the synagogue to thank God and to learn from the Bible that the teacher would read. Slowly, so slowly, the little old lady hobbled out the door of her house and started down the street. The sky was blue, and, but the little old lady could not look up to see it. She could see only the brown earth at her feet. Down the street, the little old lady went. As she walked, her stick made a soft tap, tap, tapping sound. The little old lady climbed the hill to the synagogue. She met other people who had come to thank God and learn from the Bible that the teacher would read. The little old lady heard people talking and a neighbor told her good news. Jesus of Nazareth is visiting in our town today, the neighbor said. Jesus goes to many towns to help people and to tell them about God. The little old lady listened and nodded her head. At last, the little old lady came to the synagogue. Slowly, she climbed the steps. She rested for a moment before she opened the door and walked inside. The little old lady could hear the synagogue teacher speaking. Jesus of Nazareth is here, he said. Jesus will read the Bible to us and explain what the words mean. Jesus began to read. The little old lady listened. All the people listened to Jesus read from the Bible. Jesus finished reading from the Bible. He sat down and began to talk to the people. God loves you and is always taking care of you, Jesus told the people. Suddenly, Jesus stopped speaking and the little old lady knew he was looking straight at her. She heard him say, come here and stand by me. The little old lady did not wait. She reached for a stick. As fast as she could, she stood up and went tap, tap, tapping to the front of the room. Jesus rose from his seat and waited. Soon the little old lady stood by his side. Jesus leaned down. He put his gentle hands on the lady's crooked back and spoke to her again. Today, your crooked back is, is straight and strong, Jesus told her. It will never be crooked anymore. The little old lady let go her stick. It dropped to the floor as she straightened up. Tall and straight, the little old lady stood. She looked up into the face of Jesus. She began to thank God for Jesus who had healed her. The synagogue teacher did not thank God. He frowned. God's Sabbath day is not a time for work, he scolded. Making this woman's back well is work. People can be healed on the six other days of the week. Jesus shook his head. This woman needed help, he said. It is a good thing to help people and be kind to them on any day. The synagogue teacher did not answer. Jesus turned and spoke to the people in the synagogue. It is a good thing to help people and be kind to them on any day, he said again. All the people in the synagogue began to praise God. They thanked him for Jesus who had been so kind and had healed the little old, lady, old lady's crooked back. 
The little old lady did not pick up her stick, which had fallen to the floor. She did not need it anymore. Tall and straight, she walked out of the synagogue. Tall and straight, the little old lady walked down the hill from the synagogue. She lifted her head and smiled at her friends. Jesus made my crooked back straight, she told them. Quickly, the little old lady walked up the street to her house. She put out her hand to push open the door. Then the little old lady turned and looked up. She stood quite still, watching the blue, blue sky, and again the little old lady thanked God for Jesus. The end. Bye-bye now. Thanks for listening to the story. Stay bye -bye tuned now. for the next one. Bye-bye now. Bye-bye now.